Um, what happened in week one? Love happened in week one. Love happened in week one. Teams that I felt like had a chance of doing something and I have a soft spot for, I did put points into and it cost me. It cost me. The only real game that cost me more than anything was the TSM versus AFK one. I made a mistake there. Didn't know while I was playing. If you do remember watching the season 1-1, one, one, I did say that would go 1-1. One, one. It did go 1-1 one, one, and I lost a point there. The other ones tonight's Watch, Cog and Trig. Soft spots. Made mistakes. Week 2 though. No time for soft spots anymore. Let's talk about where my points are going this week. And if you made mistakes last week, this is the week for you to catch up on points. Because honestly, most of these games are pretty much in the bag, I suspect. Okay, So you should be able to get some free FP for yourselves looking at the betting for this one. Start of the week, it's going to be Trig versus Upcoming Stars. Trig did not do very well against Fnatic, but Upcoming Stars did not do very well in their set either. Trig should win this one. I don't see them having a problem against Upcoming Stars this week. A simple 2-0 for the Trig boys. Pretty much guaranteed in my book. So, that's where my points will be going there. Next one, TSM versus Enemy Esports. TSM looks strong. Did drop a game against AFK Gaming, but that's kind of to be expected. Uh, I guess enemy esports, I don't think they're going to have that many problems. They should be able to clean it up. Um, it's not a big game in terms of like closeness. I think TSM will clean that one up quite easily. So not a problem there. Epsilon versus London Conspiracy. There's a chance London Conspiracy could do something big here. But after what happened when we saw them face off against Titan, Epsilon looks so much stronger than Titan, in my opinion, after the first week. And... Epsilon have their roster that's been there for a long time. So I don't see London Conspiracy doing very well against Epsilon. I think Epsilon will take that series. London Conspiracy do have a lot of stuff to prove. They do have a full roster back this week as well, though, which they didn't have last week when Emilzy wasn't there. They had Half Devil subbing in. I'm not so sure. Um, I'm still going to go Epsilon, though. London Conspiracy could pull something out. Maybe a 1-1 one -one at most, but I'm going to put both my points into Epsilon for this one. Epsilon did look very strong again. Uh, heading further down into the rest of Saturday, you can see Eager up against Denial. Eager played very, very well last week, as you can see. They performed exactly as I expected them to be now at Enemy Esports. If Eager could be Enemy Esports, that's why I've also got down that TSM will be Enemy Esports as well. Uh, Eager up against Denial in week two. In week one, Enemy Esports had to face off against um, Eager. And it was an okay match there. Denial had to face against Cloud9. Cloud9 are very strong there indeed. So I'm going to go with Eager for this one. No surprise really. I think Eager are looking pretty good right now. They're probably in the top four. I uh, don't know what order they'll be in the top four of the North American side. But they're going to be in the top four. Further down Cloud9. Once again, Cognitive didn't look as clean as they should be. They didn't do very well against Legion of Carrots. I think Cloud9 are probably going to take this one as well. So both my points are going that way. These seem quite simplistic where my voting is going this week. And it kind of is. Uh, final games. This is the only game I can really see could go either way. That's where my, my money... The money matches for this week. I think this is, could be the difference between getting 14 out of 16 correct or 16 out of 16. Uh, Dignitas did look a lot better than I thought they would. Uh, they performed very well against the Night's Watch. Uh, I don't know how they do against Titan. I'm going to side with Titan, though. I'm going to side with Titan. I don't know why I'm siding with Titan. It's just... Maybe this is just, like, the heart is thinking it's going to go Titan. So I'm not thinking with that in the brain. I would like to go 1-1, one, one, but I don't trust the 1-1 one, one this time around. I'm just going to invest both points into Titan. Dignitas, a little bit underrated right now, especially after their performance last week. Just gone. If you've just seen the games recently. I guess Night's Watch, they looked a lot better. Uh, it wasn't super clean from them again, though. And Titan still have some issues with the lane switch, where they're going to have to adapt to things there. But do I think Titan can pull this one out? I think they can. And based off last time these two faced off against each other, Titan did win in the SPL Season 1. And I'm just going to go based off past results as well, just to give Titan the edge in this one. So, Titan over Dignitas. Then it's Fnatic versus Night's Watch. Fnatic are going to be unstoppable. If Fnatic are on this list, put points into them. Put points into them. Honestly, that's the way I'm going to look at it. There's seven weeks, which means 14 games that Fnatic will play. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they get all 14. Maybe they'll drop a game or two. But if you get 13 out of 13 or 12 out of the 14 correct just on Fnatic side, that's three points in my book. My points are going to Fnatic. There's nothing I can see that any of the teams are going to be able to do to stop the rampage that they're going to go on this season. I can see them looking at first seed, no problem, in the SPL in North America. In EU, rather, North America. <laughs> nice try. Uh, final one. 
is going to be AFK Gaming versus Legion of Carrots. Legion of Carrots did look pretty good, but they did struggle a little bit against some kills up against Cognitive in their game last weekend. Uh, I don't think Legion of Carrots will have as easy a time against AFK Gaming. AFK Gaming look good again as well. Take into account that Ally did play for them, but he played away from home in an unusual environment, and he still took a game off TSM. And it was a second game after going down 1-0 as well. So AFK still looking very, very strong. They did win the most recent LAN as well. I'm going to invest my points into AFK Gaming. I'm not going to see it going any other way. Honestly, this should be the week of getting yourself FP, like I said. You can see where my money's going here. If I'm completely wrong, I'm just going to give up on this because I don't think it's going to ever work out right. Not really. I, I'm pretty sure this is where it's going to go. I'm, I can't really see him going any other way. Maybe one of the games will be an upset. Um, but other than that, this should pretty much go where it's going to go here. So, little look at the SPL for week two. Good luck with your voting. Hopefully you choose um, wisely. Think with your brain, not with your heart so much. Especially if you love a team like Denial, like Dignitas, like Night's Watch, like Legion of Carrots. You know, all other conspiracy. If you love those teams fine but think with your brain because it's all about those fp points not necessarily where your heart's gonna go good luck in your voting though and best of luck to you for the next week